I'm Chef Phil Anderson, the executive chef at Harris Teeter. I'm gonna make an orange and grilled pork salad today. It's gonna be a hot and cold salad, and it's gonna be really neat. I, I've taken a pound of pork loin here. I've sliced it very thin, and we're gonna go out and grill it. I've preheated the, the grill. We're gonna grill it up, and that's what's gonna be the hot dynamic of this whole thing. This is romaine lettuce, it's one head. I have one cup of broccoli and one cup of carrots. We have a vinaigrette going on. Half a cup of white wine vinegar and a half a cup of uh, olive oil. I have uh, one cup of the orange juice, a lot of pulp in it. Another ingredient for our vinaigrette is this salt-free herb and garlic blend. I've got four tablespoons here. You can find it on the aisles or spice aisle under all kinds of different labels. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go get this pork cooked off. So let's get that going. Okay, we've got our grill preheated a little over 400 degrees. Because these are cut pretty thinly, they're gonna cook pretty fast. The uh, protein in them is gonna stick to the bar grills. And we've got this going over direct heat. Direct heat meaning these are full blown on, so. And we're gonna cook these all the way through over direct heat. Now remember, pork has to cook to an internal temperature of 150 degrees. I can't put the pork back on this plate, um, so I gotta wash this plate. It'd be cross-contamination. So I'll be right back. I'll turn these, we'll be close to being done. Okay, clean that up real nice. I'm gonna flip these over. Now, what we typically could do, and what I do often, is I'll mark it to get the marks on it and the nice smokiness of the, of the flavor notes. And then I'll move them over to the indirect heat and then cover. Now what that does is it keeps the pork very moist. But now, in this case, we're going to have a salad dressing going over the top of it, so moisture isn't really something that we really need. We ha we're going to have plenty of moisture. Okay, we're going to flip it over two more times. Once, once again now. Total time on this is about maybe eight minutes. I could even put this down if I wanted to accelerate the, the cook. Let's do that for a minute or so. It's at about 350 degrees, but it's gonna heat up really fast because we closed that cover and it's gonna heat up to four and a quarter pretty quickly. We're gonna turn it one more time and then it'll be ready to go. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's take them off. Okay, our pork is done. We're gonna go back into the kitchen and finish our salad, okay? Hot off the grill and ready to slice. This is really nice. We're gonna just julienne this cut. Okay, we're gonna mix that up a little bit so that it can get in there. And then I'm gonna throw the broccoli in and the carrots in. Mix that up too. We're gonna to make our vinaigrette. It's really, it's not a suspended vinaigrette, which means there's an emulsifier in there. We don't have an emulsifier. But what we're gonna do is add the orange juice and the vinegar and the salt-free herb and garlic blend. We're gonna mix that up really well. Now if you can, you can put some salt and pepper in there. Some people can't have salt or too much salt. You wouldn't want to add that in there if you're not supposed to add the salt. It's just a touch. So while I'm whisking away, I'm going to slowly pour the olive oil in. Now this helps to suspend the oil and vinegar so that when we dress our salad, we won't have that acid at the bottom of the bowl and it won't be mixed thoroughly. Now I'm gonna pour this over the our salad here. Voila. Okay. Now we're gonna to toss this. And there you have it. Orange and grilled pork salad. Awesome. Enjoy.